camera okay? I'm not sure. Uh, hey guys, I'm sitting on the balcony. I don't know why. It's extremely windy now in Australia. But I just love the background. I'm not sure about my hair and my makeup right now. But today I'm gonna tell you about my favorite makeup items. My hair is so naughty. <laughs> Look how beautiful the background is. I'm not sure, maybe I should turn the camera to the seaside. I'll check. Hey guys, I want to say sorry for this sound. As you like noticed, it became windy. Just because it's like, I think it would be raining today. So I'm just like, I would like to say sorry in the beginning. If you don't like the sound, you may like turn this video off just because it wouldn't get better at all. I think it's much better this way, so I'm gonna film my video right now in this area, in this like background. Uh, it's cold, so I'm wearing the colorful scarf. I'm not, I don't know, will you read this? Read my scarf down in the comments. I won't give you guys like a tutorial in this video, but I feel it's not a necessity. I wanted to just show you like the products I'm using every single day. So uh, when I start my makeup, I usually start with moisturizing my lips. I also, guys, won't give you like the skincare routine in this video, but I feel it's, it's not necessary. I'm just gonna show you my favorite makeup I'm using every single day. So the first step is moisturizing my lips, as I've already mentioned. And I use this. This is the Laneige Sleep Sleeping Berry Mask. I love it so much. It smells so good. It's like a mixture of berries. I don't know which berries, but it smells extremely nice. And I also love using this one. This is the Mecca Max uh, Lip Slip. It's like a lip balm, something between the lip oil and the lip gloss. It has like the small tint. It's like the red brownish shade. It's called Vanilla Bean. It's like super hydrating and light to your lips. It's not like the long lasting formula, but it's so cheap. I think it's only like $8 in Mecca. So look at this one, it's like extremely cute. So my next step is my complexion. I start doing my face tone with my concealer and primer. I don't use foundation at all, just because my skin always feels cakey when I use the foundation. I use this one, this is the primer I bought I bought from Moscow Look at this, it's cute Gosh, my items are just flowing away from the table, it doesn't important Look, it's cute, it's extremely cute uh, This is the glow primer I've been using forever It has like the scent of almond, I think The cap is flown away <laughs> So I think if you buy this in gold, apple or whatever, I don't know if it's like still stocked, but this is the best primer I've ever tried. Uh, after this, I used my concealer. This is the e.l.f. Calm Hydrating Concealer, it has like the setting finish, and I use it in the shade Fair Beige. It has like the Doe Fruit applicator. It's oversized a bit, so it's like it's bigger than the normal one. But this is the best concealer for me. I've got it in like a little bit darker shade than I normally use, just because there was only this shade in <laughs> in Kmart. <laughs> you can use it also with your country sculpting and so on. It depends on the shade you're getting. So it's like it's my makeup bag, by the way. It's cute, but I'm not gonna pay more attention. To let the concealer sit for a little bit and while concealer is setting on my skin i love to use my brow pencil and my brow gel to fix my brows this is two items i also brought from moscow uh, this is the vivian sabo arcade automatic pencil <laughs> it's extremely slim and it has like the brush i also lost this side cap but it's not important it's important to save this side cap look how beautiful is this and I'm going shopping somewhere on Tuesday, I guess, so it will be a haul. If you want, let me know in the comments. This is the shade Purple One. It's like the fairest shade in the line, but I wish they had like more fair shade. I also use the Clear Brow Gel, that just because I feel it's like most suitable for my brows. It's not has like 
the bigger brush but it's like the normal sized one it's almost over and i'm gonna search for a new one this week i guess but this one works for you if you live like in russia or somewhere else you can buy this wherever you want my next step is conchin and bronzering i'm not use conchin powder at all but i use bronzers and i'm gonna show you my favorite like this is the cream one, this is the Instant Contour Cream Bronzer by Emco Beauty. I have it in the shade light medium, but it's too orange for me, but I just don't care. I fit the shade with my concealer, like it's too orange for my skin, but I just don't care. It's a bronzer, so you like, you look like the bronze goddess, you know? Uh, this is like the dupe for Charlotte Tilbury, uh, Charlotte Tilbury, yep. Charlotte Tilbury Contouring one is like has the same applicator. It's not as shimmering as the Charlotte one, but it also has like the nice natural finish, and it's only like twenty eight dollars. I got it for fourteen dollars just because I was on sale. Yep, I'm cold. <laughs> I'm cold sitting in here, guys. I'm sorry for the wind making noise. I'm so sorry. I have no idea why is it happening but i'm still sorry <laughs> i'm i will try recording my videos in in a softer place but today is windy and i really wanted to show you like the balcony <laughs> so yep i'm sorry baby. this is the train making noise bro what's happening could you just keep silence okay so I also have two country palettes I'm using. Let's start from this one. This is the I Heart Revolution. It's like the collaboration. Like, look at this packaging. I've been always like a fan of elephants since my childhood. So, this has like the two shades. So, it has like the dark one with like the bronzing stripes and the pinkish stripes. And this one. This is like the highlighter, but it's too dark for me. So, I'm using this one for bronzer. It's like it's very pigmented and I'm using it to contour my nose. But I still love this palette. It's only $16 at Terry Chemist. I don't know. <laughs> this is the palette I've been using for a while. This is the Dior Backstage Glow Face palette in the shade Universal. Look at these shades, they're too pretty. I've been using the white one forever, but now I'm using the bronzer in to contour in my nose <laughs> and for the zones. I'm not into like bronzering all over my face, but I still use it for uh, giving my face a little bit of shaping. Guys, this is my <laughs> second like, piece of video of my Dior Backstage palette. So this is, uh, there's are two my sh of my favorite shades. I'm not using the gold and pink at all. I have to, I, I, I was using this, but I'm not using this anymore. <laughs> so switching on to the next step. This is my blush, and I always keep heavy on this step. I've been using like a lot of blush, uh, I think a couple months ago, but now I'm just keeping like the natural look. I have two of my favorite. This is the Milk Makeup Small Greenish Stick. It also has like the bronzer shades and the highlighter, but I have the blush in the shade Dash. It, this this is particular shade, it has like the small shimmering in it, so I love this. It is like the most natural blush you could ever imagine. I'm wearing this right now and it's like it's so perfect. <laughs> And my favorite drugstore blush. I can't even tell you how cheap is this one. This is like about two dollars, I guess. And it's made in the UK. Yup. It is in the shade Deep Rose by the Fresh Face, or it's like the Berry M. I don't know what is the brand. Just like look at the package, and it's cute. And it has like the Aronia Berry and Vitamin C. So, and it's so pigmented. I can't even tell you how pigmented is this one. <laughs> so, if you guys have an ability to try this blush, try this right now. Moving on to next step. Next step are my lashes. I'm going with the lash curlies, just like the regular lash curler I bought for like a couple of dollars when I was in Moscow. <laughs> so this is like the regular lash curler you could even imagine. I've been looking for a different one, you know, the, with the, the comb over here. I've been looking for this one, but I have no ability to find it, so I'm using this one right now, just the regular color. And this is my mascara I've been using for a while. 
like i haven't like i hate having the bad mascaras days just because i feel like my lashes are so i don't know they're like short but thick <laughs> so i don't know this is the linkedin mascara that curls your lashes it's like the benefit roller lash it has like the small sizes but i have the big one look the brush is kind of curved and i love this it may like stick your lash together but i prefer to, to use the lash comb with this one my next step is my highlighter <laughs> look at this i've been having this for a while <laughs> this is the highlighter i bought like a year and a half ago i guess and i bought the new one recently <laughs> so this is the lamel medusa collection highlighter i had no idea that i would find like the new one but this is my favorite highlighter ever it gives me like the natural red glow and i love it so much it's like the packaging is so similar to the milk stick but it's not the milk stick at all it's so cheap if you would see this it's like almost clear so <laughs> all all the logo went away because i've been having this for so long i would recommend you guys to buy it. the last step of my complexion is my powder and i've been having this one from emco beauty it's like the bright and correct banana powder it should be correcting your redness your like the greenish skin tone i don't know it's like powder for every type of situation it has like these cute bananas i don't know if you can see this you can see this one and it's only eight dollars if i think it's like the past collection so it was it would be hard to find a new one in kmart but if you see i would recommend you guys to buy this just because i feel this powder is like it's it's giving me like the tropical vibes look wow moving on to my last makeup step this is my favorite the lips i'm not using the lip liner at all but yet but i used to use the lip liner but now i only use like the sheer lipsticks i don't have like the everyday lipstick at all i have my top top three favorites i'm gonna get through this one so my favorite lip oil is this it's like the your lip glow oil in the shade rosewood i don't think that this is like the best lip oil you could even like imagine having in your life but it's like it's kind of sticky and it's like the look it's like the slime one it's like oh gosh it's flying away literally so i'm not like a fan of this one but i spent quite a lot of this oil and i have to use this my favorite okay one of my favorite lip balms is like the lip glow by dior again and this is the shade one called pink it's almost over look at this i bought this in the december and i've been using this for a while i love this but i'm not think i'm gonna repurchase this product just because i feel like you don't have to splurge on the regular colored lip balm but it's nice it keeps your lips hydrated and it gives you the natural glow we always want <sighs> now the final lip product i'm literally like praying for this one just because i think it's like my favorite lip product ever this is the bird's beast tinted lip balm in red dahlia i've been loving this so much like it doesn't scent it much but bruh it doesn't scent it much but i just love the color it's like the reddish brown and to all of like the questions what i used to like blend my uh, highlighter blush bronzer and other creamish products i use this is this 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 is the this is the morphe buffer brush it's like um it's like it has the number i'm gonna write it on the screen just because i have no ability to read this m439 yep this is the i think you will if you see this you will understand that this is like the brush i'm talking about it's like the bigger one guys <laughs> and i forgot to tell you about my favorite perfume like i'm like the mist maniac i have so much mist in moscow if you follow me on the instagram page you probably seen all of this oh gosh we're gonna wait for a little bit okay let's wait so i don't think that's like a big problem this is my favorite brazilian crush 
uh, Sol de Janeiro perfume. <laughs> I love it so much. It has like the salted caramel scent. Pistachio and salted caramel. Like it's the body mist. It's like it's also a hairspray. It's like only 19 milliliters, but it has like the bigger size. I think I'm gonna go for a bigger size, but a little bit later when I finish this one. I'm like I love this. That's it for today's videos. I'm feeling so cold. My hands are literally like frosting. So I would like take a warm bath after this recording. I love you guys so much. Sorry for the sound again. Just like please. <laughs> I forgot that it's like windy today. So I started recording outside. It was like the fool of me. I love you guys so much. Send you a kisses and hearts. Bye.